Ladies and gentlemen, we invite you to watch the English news broadcast on the Tensho television channel of Dong Nam Province. The Ministry of Finance has just issued Circular No. 49, guiding the reparation of the state budget estimates for 2025 and the three-year financial state budget plan for 2025 to 2077. The budget's revenue estimates for 2025 should align with the social, economic and financial conditions domestically and internationally. The goal is to increase the 2025 domestic revenue estimate by at least 5 to 7 percent compared to 2024, including planned youth fees, lottery revenue, state capital sales, dividends, box stock profits and state bank revenue differences. Their targets account for policy changes but excludes their impact on revenue. Each locality revenue growth should match its economic growth and revenue generation, considering better revenue management and tax debt recovery. The 2025 import if box revenue estimate is expected to increase by 4 to 6 percent compared to 2024. The circular tax efforts on August 30, 2024. According to the General Statistics Office, the average consumer price index for the first six months of 2024 rose by 4.08% compared to the same period in 2023. From a social welfare perspective, rising prices are a serious concern. Many citizens and small businesses are taking measures to protect themselves from the pressure of increasing costs. Recently, shopper numbers at supermarkets and shopping centers have risen by over 20%, averaging 2,500 to 3,500 visits per day. This increase is largely due to frequent promotions and discounts, typically ranging from 20% to 49%, offer quickly, daily, and even hourly. Miss TV, a customer in Binghua City, shared, I have followed online fan pages and flyers to cast the promotions. Also, I buy less and only purchase essentials. Another solution is to shop at the familiar stores for better prices as they offer stability and reasonable price increase. Convenience stores and grocery stores are limiting brand distribution and buying goods at reasonable prices to keep prices stable and retain customers. The measures aim to maintain and improve purchasing power amidst inflation and rising prices. Vice Chairman of the Provincial Pupils Committee, Vavang Phi, presided over a meeting of the Provincial Steering Committee for Agriculture, Farmers, Rural Area and the New Rural Development. The meeting reviewed, evaluated and voted to request the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development to consider an uprising rank district for advanced new rural district status in 2023. In 2018, the one district achieved new rural district status. By 2023, it met the advanced new rural district criteria with on 13 communes reaching advanced status, 4 communes attaining model status, and 5 model residential areas. The districts fulfilled on 9 criteria for 2021 to 2025, with significant improvements in rural infrastructures, production, and income. The average per capita income in 2023 was nearly 84.5 million VND, a 94% increase from 2018. Consequently, the Provincial Appraisal Council unanimously agrees that the one district meet the advanced new rural district status for 2023. On July 27th in Laos, the Foreign Minister of the Association of South Asian Nations, ASEANs, and the U.S. Secretary of State discussed international and regional security issues. At the conference, Mr. Lincoln stated, We must tackle challenges to our shared visions, including the conflict in Ukraine and Myanmar, North Korea's nuclear program, and China's recent actions against the Philippines in the South China Sea. 
Indonesian Foreign Minister Retno Mashudi emphasized the need to adhere to international law. She stated the ASEAN-US partnership should contribute to global peace and stability. We must consistently respect international law, applying it to issues in Ukraine and South China Sea and the Gaza conflict. At the conference, the foreign ministers also discussed the ASEAN-US comprehensive strategic partnership and reaffirmed their commitment to further strengthen this relationship. They agreed to develop an action plan for 2026-2030. On July 27, Italian Crown Minister Giorgia Meloni arrived in Beijing for her first official visit to China since taking office nearly two years ago. During her five-day visit, Crown Minister Meloni will visit with the Chinese resident Xi Jinping and Kremlin Li Kuan. The focus is on boosting bilateral trade and ending the Ukraine war. An Italian official mentioned Meloni aims to restart relations in areas of mutual interest, with discussions starting with the Ukraine conflict. Meloni's administration withdrew from the China's Bell and Road initial last year. Before taking office, she considered joining the initials a mistake. Thank you for watching the next new broadcast on Dong Province Essential Television Channel. Goodbye and see you next time.